This is an overview of the overlay product boxes by Unlimited Elements. Let's get started. To get started, drag the overlay product box into your Elementor column. This is a nice overlay over an image that has a title, a rating, a price, and a call to action button. Usually when adding these types of boxes to a layout, you will want to duplicate the column a couple of times to get the exact layout you want. For example, three items. Let's jump into each item and change the image. Just so we can see how this looks. So as you can see, it adapts to any image easily. Let's click on the first one and start going over the settings. The first setting is for title, this part over here. The second part is for price, this one part over here. And then we have the button link and button text. For the ratings itself, we do this throughout items. As you can see, there are five icons over here. We can switch any icon to any icon we want from the Elementor icon library. You can also delete some. So for example, if you want just three stars, you can delete the last two and now we have only three stars. You can edit the icon as well. For example, if you want an empty star, you can search for the word star in the icon library and change this to any one of the stars over here. For example, this empty one. And you can play around with this and do whatever you want. Inside of general, we finished going over the settings. Let's go over the settings in layout. In layout, we have an option to turn off each part of our overlay product box. Inside of style, let's go over the style settings. So the first setting is for the border. If we add a border, it adds a border around and we can make this maybe thicker and maybe play around with the color. Let's make that white. Perfect, looks awesome. Border radius, if you want, you can round your box and you can also make your box higher, for example. Awesome. Overlay color is for the color overlay that's going over the image. Let's change this to maybe something purplish. As you can see, this is how it looks. So you can change that to any color you want. You can also turn on or off the alpha channel over here. So right now it's without any opacity. Over here we have an option for overlay opacity. So right now the overlay opacity is zero and that's why the overlay isn't showing. But if I change this to one, the overlay will show. When I hover it still shows because the overlay opacity on hover is also one. So I can change this to zero and now we've switched between states. You can also play around with this. It doesn't have to be a full number. It can be 0 0.5. And then when you hover, it can turn to one. You can play around with this however you want. Let's leave it on when we're not hovering and turn it off when we are hovering. And let's push down the alpha channel over here. So there will be a bit of opacity in the background. Cool, this seems cool to me. In the title settings, we have an option to change the title color, the title typography. For example, I'll change the weight to maybe something bolder. You can also play around with the size a little bit if you want. Let's go into rating. Over here in rating, we can change the icon rating sizes and the spacing to space it out from the title itself. In price, we have the same settings spacing, typography, and color. Button, we have a lot of settings over here, so you can change the button to however you like. But for example, I can turn off the button background color and the color on hover. So now the button is transparent. And I will also make my button rounded by pushing the button radius. We can also change our button style to be full width if we want or inline 
and we can change the padding over here. So for example, I'll make it a bit wider by moving up the right padding and the left padding. Cool, this looks awesome. To copy the style to the rest of the boxes, I'm going to right click, select copy, right click on the other boxes and click paste style. This will move just the style to the other boxes. So now they are all the same style. Thank you for joining the tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.